Thank you very much, Samson. Once again, welcome to Live at Night tonight. My name is Sheila Tsime, of course, joined by Samson Kasumba. Security Minister Major General Jim Muhwezi has lashed out at his fellow minister, Major General Kahinda Otafide of Internal Affairs, for telling the parliamentary committee that he did not have information on the digital number plates installation project. General Muhwezi says he's disappointed in Otafide for having appeared before a committee session without making the list of inquiries. While appearing before the Parliamentary Committee on Infrastructure, Internal Affairs Minister Major General Kahindo Tafiri raised a red flag on the digital number plates installation project after he told members of Parliament that he has never met anyone from the Russian firm, joint stock company Global Security, the company contracted to implement the project, and neither had he signed on any document authorizing the firm to take over the project. Global Security? Yeah. <laughs> never? <laughs> I've never seen them. I don't know how they look like. Never talked to any of them. I don't even know who's behind them. I don't think he's informed. I, I think he... Security Minister Major General Jim Huezi has responded to General Otafide, saying the least he could have done was to make inquiries to obtain information on now the controversial project. But I would have expected Honorable Otafide to come to me or to General Katumba or in the cabinet and raise any concerns he had, not to go to uh, on the camera and start alarming the public. I, I, I'm very disappointed, really. Mayor General Jim Muezi further told NBS TV that the contract that gave a green light to the Russian firm joint stock company Global Security was signed by the office of the president and the Minister of Works and Transport and that the Internal Affairs Ministry is only an implementing ministry through Uganda Police. For the Minister of Internal Affairs uh, to say that he's not the one, he didn't indeed have to be the one, okay? It is by government led by the two ministries of security and of, of, of trans, uh, works and transport. However, his ministry is involved in this project, represented by the police. Experts, however, warn that the three ministries, which include transport, internal affairs and security, should harmonize or else the country risks losing money and data to foreigners, thus threatening the security of nationals. Do they have a policy in place? Do they have a legal backup for that? Do they have institutional arrangements in terms of personnel, uh, systems and so on to be able to roll out this program effectively? Are they trying to put to, 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 to clear bottlenecks that are supposed to be in place to slow it down? And all this should be very paramount. General Mwezi says Ugandan government has not even invested a single shilling in the controversial project. And it's a project where government has not put even a shilling. All the money comes from the company and they will recoup their money in 10 years. Kanarum Gume, NBS, Live at 9.